Hi everybody and welcome to my shop. My name is Frank. In this video I will give my first impressions of Simplify 3D Slicer software. Okay, first thing that caught my attention is how fast it is. I mean not Tesla fast but more like super jet fast. From launching the software to slicing a model it's all of the functions in the software that are fast. Oh, and if you have noticed, it also keeps the last models loaded when you restart the software. That is cool. Another great feature, it has a ton of printer's profiles. Look at that list. Even my old and not too popular Ictop i3 is there. And they add more all the time. It updates itself automatically. I also found that Simplify 3D has ample documentation written and in videos. You also have custom supports. You can place them where you want efficiently. That is helpful in many cases. You can control the printer when directly connected. No need for another software. It's all in one. And there are many advanced features. Here are some that I found so far. Dynamic layer speed, like in this example, going up the at speed is reduced to give a beautiful finish printing the small tip of this hat. You have a mesh repair and errors detection. You can flip a model fast using the option place on bed surface and click a face to have it facing the bed like this. You get numerical inputs for X, Y and Z positioning, scaling and rotation. An automatic placing of parts that works great. So my impressions are that it's made to be fast, easy and efficient. The downside is its price. Compared to free options, it's not cheap. But if you like something fast, with excellent user support, a workhorse, and you have more than one printer, I think it's a good investment. Thanks to Simplify 3D for providing me a copy to review, and I will follow with more videos on things I find in this software that could also help you guys. And that's it for me. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comments below, and subscribe to my channel. Push the little bell to be notified when I publish a new video. And see you in the next video. Ciao, bye!